Hello, my love. Welcome home. I'm your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And today we are leaning into a conversation about, well, synchronicities as usual, and also about what the path is looking like and where it's going. So on this podcast, we explore the journey it takes to come back to ourselves, recognizing who we are authentically, truly, unraveling, unlayering of the bullshit, the dogma, the whatever, and coming back to who we truly are so that we can lean into our joy, our happiness, and live the life that we desire. We can find and live in joy. We can live in happiness. We can live in fulfillment. So this morning started with like a message showing up for me, and I particularly am not um, very biblical. Um, I am definitely not a scholar in any way, shape, or form, but a message showed up, and uh, in reading it, it was kind of interesting when you, again, unlayer the dogma. If you're not familiar with the word, it's basically all of the belief structures that other people might have told you, everybody else's interpretation of whatever. If you, like, just take things at face value, and then you can interpret for yourself what do you get out of this passage? What do you get out of this moment? And it's kind of funny because I had been sitting in visualization before I even like looked at my phone this morning and then this message showed and it was kind of reflective of what I was visualizing, right? And so in this visualization, I was seeing myself in the home space that I am, you know, talking about and cultivating and the the physical space and I was seeing the community that is coming forth within it the partnerships that are coming forth within it and all this glory and wonder and a big spark of why I want to create home is this idea of kind of like stepping back and going back to before back to the beginning back to when um time felt easier and simpler like we're you're so much you know not to get like political or anything like that but like it just feels like we're in a space where government and societal beliefs and all of this stuff this like gunk is just like piled down on us and we are kind of just built to like live within this system this is how we have to live and in this vision and just kind of creating a space where I am self-sufficient and removed from all of that right we can choose to be in the rat race if we want to we can choose to play into all these cycles and these belief structures if we want to But at the end of the day, we get to choose where we want to be. And right. And if I want to be devoid of that, if I want to be separate of that, then I get to be separate with that when I make the choice and I take the action to do so. And so I'm looking at this vision and then this passage shows up and I'm reading this passage. And to me, the passage is like, this is an invitation to separate again, separate from what came before um and the passage was ephesians 4 uh, 7 15 through 32 and i don't know like i said i'm not a whole scholar but my interpretation as as it pertained to what i'm going through in my life very much felt like yes you are on the right pathway because you know what you want right like you know what you want you know what's making you happy you get to enjoy the journey of getting there but also know that like you're not alone god source universe uh ancestors spirit guides whatever is in your belief structure 
there is something outside of yourself that is supporting you. That is the message that I received in that moment. And so I took in this 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 channel, this message, this this opportunity and was like, wow, awesome. So then I got to take more time visualizing and, and leaning into what makes me happy. You know, these things, there are a lot of, I feel like as I go through my life, as I'm doing, there, like I am good at so many things i'm good at so many things and not to sound narcissistic or whatever i think we we've been conditioned to be humble and and in that being humble it's also taking us to a level of insecurity and so we focus in and we get to this place and by we i mean a lot of people that i've interacted with but we don't have like not necessarily meaning you my dear lovely listener but like I see it play out so often that we get into the space of insecurity. Maybe this way is me, myself, and I. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one here. But (laughs) let me know how you are relating to this statement uh, inside the home Facebook membership or, um, or the life coaching membership that's housed on Facebook is a better way to put it. Or um, you can let me know just in the comments of this podcast, if you're wherever you're listening. But that being said, how we like we lean into these insecurities of like how we're afraid that we're going to be interpreted or seen or whatever by others around us and by society in general and all of that I know that's for myself that sometimes I censor myself because I'm trying to make sure that I am pleasing to a majority of people right like if I'm gonna have two million listeners that's two million people that I have to like make sure are are on the on the same wavelength right that are that are connected to what i'm saying that are that are into what i'm saying that being said you can watch me unfold this belief structure in in real time as in well like well aren't there like billions of people in the world you know if we fraction it out it's easy to find two million people out of a billion that can align with whatever it is that I say. And of those, uh, the rest of the millions of people out there and billions of people out there, they can align to somebody else. There's plenty to go around. There's enough to go around. And when we find who we truly are authentically and we accept ourselves as who we truly are, love ourselves as who we truly are authentically, then we get to align more and more with people that are like-minded and we attract more and more with people that are on the same frequency, right? We do attract people that are higher or lower because I do believe that like there's a opportunity and lessons. Um, It's kind of like my space when I think about leadership and, and, and wanting to be a leader is like, I want to be around people that are where I want to go, right? That that have already done it, that have seen the things, that have learned from their mistakes and can tell me what mistakes to avoid so I can get to where I want to go faster and I can better align with their vision and their whatever, their um their success right i can get i can create my own success by learning from their success and what worked for them and i might need to adjust to make you know things more easeful for myself or adjust to do the things that make me more happy whatever it may be um i get to i get to manipulate it to fit my belief structure and my design and my creation right but i can also learn from it and then on the flip side I find I solidify my understanding so much more within myself and I ground better into it when I'm able to relay that information to somebody else. So like that's, I love to see that chain. Like I'm constantly going up, but I'm also bringing people with me uh, on this journey. And so we have the opportunity when we align with, I, I feel like it's like, like if you look at the radio, right, you know, there's the 92.1 or whatever is like the exact station and it sounds so much clearer but like if you like dial it back a couple of notches you might still pick up that that radio station but it might be there might be some fuzz there and then if you dial it up a little bit 
again, you might catch the radio station, but like it's going to be some fuzz there. So we're like, you know, dialed in in the middle. And then eventually if we move, we can move backwards and go down and be in the fuzz. And then eventually we're going to click over to a whole different frequency. And maybe that frequency does not align at all with what you're going for. Uh, if we're going that like lateral horizontal mindset of going backwards and forwards on a, on the timeline or whatever, um, or you can crank up and go forward and eventually boom, you're in a whole different frequency. And then you're like in alignment with like the new level of yourself, the new version of yourself, the higher level of yourself. And, and you can play around and start aligning again and keep going. And that's like, that's the cycle in life. Right. And so as we cycle in life, we're talking about the idea and the synchronicities that show up as we continue to level up, as we continue to f- fall into the best versions of ourselves, right? As we continue to visualize what the best version of ourselves are and then believe that we can be there. I got that. That was that was an amen from <laughs> from Nala here. Um, that being said, thank you, love. Um, with that. All being said, uh, we are just living this journey and we are continuing to move forward in this journey and understanding ourselves more and more. And so my awareness and my practice is really making sure that I see how things are clicking together and I see how I am moving and going and and being heard right I like one of the biggest things for me is understanding that I am heard I am seen and I I am breaking down this this barrier so that I can better receive I um actually saw a post and it from a friend and it had I am not gonna say the quote correctly because I don't remember exactly the the verbiage that was used but it basically was saying that we have to be in alignment with receiving in order to experience intimacy and this particular friend who was sharing she is a um a a sexual healing coach and um that's not, I don't think that's phrasing it quite right but but she works in that arena of like healing sexual wounds from an energetic standpoint as well as embodying the feminine and embodying relationships and embodying all this like romantic beautiful passionate wonderful f- space and so that idea can be moved across anything that you're looking to receive whether it be you know intimacy love romance money uh joy happiness we have to be in the mindset we have to embody it we have to become the version of ourselves that is that right so what do what do I look like what does the version of me look like happy what does the version of me look like fulfilled what does the version of me look like loved what does the version of me look like that is heard that is seen that is chosen what does all that look like and then we have to choose to accept that version of ourselves as our truth and when we accept ourselves as a that version of ourselves as our truth and as who we are and what is within our capacity, then we can behave as such. And eventually, without even thinking about it, we are that version of ourselves. We become, we level up, we tune our frequency, we turn the radio dial to the to the station that is that version of ourselves. And then when we are that version of ourselves, maybe that's exactly where we need to be and we get to operate right there maybe once we get to that version of ourselves there's still more clearing to do there's still more work to do i think a big part of life is not so much that we find a place where we are never growing or whatever we're just like there like i think we are constantly learning like that's how i feel like that's how we continue you know 
when we get to a place where we're like, eh, you know, I've, I've lived for 120 years and I've seen a lot of things and I'm kind of done. I'm like, I, I, my, my journey is over. Then we can like be at peace for a minute. And then I think our, our spirit leaves, you know, um, in a, a way that is if we, if we follow, I feel called to like bring up the idea of like, well, what about people who like get in a car accident or whatever? And like, it's an untimely situation. Um, I do think that our, our souls come here with an understanding that's greater than ourselves of what our purpose on the on this planet is for. And I can't say what everybody's purpose is for or what each soul's journey is supposed to be. I can only really reflect on my own. And my expectation and my understanding of my life and that's why we come home right that's why that's what I feel like I'm in support of is supporting you finding what is it that you are destined to do or be why why are you here what essence has brought you forward because I truly believe that there like it there's a a higher calling for all of us maybe not all of us are going to be leaders or whatever but like you know your higher calling can be art your higher calling can be healing your higher calling can be politics um guidance leadership on so many different levels there there are so many things there are so many aspects to a thriving community a thriving village a thriving tribe a thriving society not one person can do it all and so we each have to have a higher calling within that because i don't think we as individuals are meant to be like by ourselves like having our little our own little box on this earth and just be by ourselves and not like interact i do think that we are here to be a part of the community which brings me back to you know my intention and my creation and the messaging that I'm receiving, right? So as I as I was saying, like inside the home membership, that is where I can help you one refine your messaging and what you're receiving. I am definitely going to be including channeling sessions and within the community. I am as we are starting and getting started, what I am seeing happening is in the beginning of the month we do a intention setting within and then in the middle of the month we focus on like channeling and bringing awareness to what that intention is and helping to pull back those layers and then at the end of the month we can celebrate how far we've come and we can work on where we're going to go next how we can up level from there and then again start the month off with new intention with greater intention with deeper intention and keep it moving and as we grow as we get bigger Uh, we can get more in depth as I get to a place where I can focus fully and solely on the space then I can offer so much more and so much greater um, leaning into that but to begin with you know it's life coaching through spiritual guidance and of course you have those in-person zoom calls um, booking and book ending the month and then the channeling in between. So super excited for that. And of course, I always throw in bonuses, so recipes and and just fun extra things that are going to be coming up in my life that I need to share that I'm not going to share on the podcast or on my social media. All of that gets to go within home because we are a community, we are a village. Um, and I love that. <laughs> so I invite you to check it out and, and join the space if you have not already. Um, and even if you're not ready for that, that's cool. I invite you to just share this podcast out like three people, five people, 10 people, whatever, one person, whatever, whoever you have, whoever you know that can really benefit from these words these this understanding this perspective um i invite you to share uh and and help our community grow and i say thank you thank you thank you for that 
And, and with that, just a reminder, right? We choose our experience. We choose our experience. And if you're finding yourself trying to like come back at me with like that easy for you to say blah, 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 whatever yes your feelings are valid I'm not trying to like throw you like aside yes your feelings are value valuable and valid and in their value I want you to I invite you to take a look at where that comes from where does that come from because I know that there's gonna be people there will be like well like I can't do xyz because age sex orientation nationality financial situation list goes on and on and on that I can't is your belief flat out the I can't is your belief and so I invite you to investigate that belief and figure out why you can't because I'm not sorry to say it I'm happy to say that you can when you make the decision to do so I'm not saying it's going to be easy that's not what I said I said you can now if you want to align in my mindset I, I love one of the things that I love to say is everything is working out for me. My desires flow to me easily and effortlessly. So if that's something that you can align with, that those are affirmations that you can align with, eventually you're going to start seeing things flow to you easily and effortlessly. But when you find things to be hard, that is where awareness can be like, oh, why does this feel so hard for me? I, everything comes to me easily and effortlessly. What within me, what belief, what understanding, what subconsciously needs to come up and out so that I can make this easy, I can make this simple. Because I think miracles happen to and through from us every single day if we're willing to accept it, to receive it, and to be it. And with that, I say ta-ta for now. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share if you haven't already. And of course, join us in the Home Life Coaching membership. And have a phenomenal day.